What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be showing you a couple of possible fixes for the problem of Rainbow Six Siege not working. And unfortunately, these solutions won't work for everyone because I've had this problem myself and I understand that it's pretty much an individual issue. Nothing will work for everyone. It's There's no solid fix that will cure it every single time, but we there are some common things that might fix it for you guys and I hope it does. But if it doesn't, I'm sorry. Just keep trying to find something, you'll probably get it eventually. It took me a while, though. So. Uh, so the first two relatively easy things that you can try are verifying the integrity of your game cache and completely uninstalling and reinstalling the game. I have a video on verifying the integrity of the game cache if you want to check that out. Um, but if these two things don't work, then I would move on to the more complex stuff. Uh, the first thing I would try is to run it in compatibility mode and administrator. So. To do this, you want to right-click on Rainbow Six Siege, go to Properties, uh, Local Files, and then Browse Local Files. This little tab will be your best friend when trying to fix this problem, because this includes all the files for the game. Um, so when you get into this folder, uh, you want to scroll down to until you find Rainbow Six.exe. Uh, right-click on that and go to Properties, and then Compatibility tab. Check the Compatibility box and check the Administration box. And then for the compatibility box, it just depends on your computer, really. Um, I tried a bunch of different ones. The only one I got to work was Windows 7. A lot of people say that Windows Vista Service Pack 2 works, but um, it didn't work for me. But like I said, it, everything's different for each person. So you just find one that, uh, try them all out, find one that works, or possibly doesn't work. And then you want to go to Apply, and then OK. Um, the only problem with this is when you do these two things, you can only start the game from this folder by clicking on this shortcut. You can't hit it in Steam, or you can't hit it on your desktop, and this is the only one that works. Um, so, to show you this, I'm going to just open up on Steam, and nothing will happen, it won't open up or anything. So it says, bottom right corner, that it's green in the game, but eventually it's just going to close out without anything happening. There you go. Um, but if I open up the tab, and... I double click on this, it will open up. So I'm just waiting for it here. It takes a little bit. But yeah, um, so you, you can try that out. If that works, great. If it doesn't, there's a few more things you can still try. Um, one of these is updating your drivers. If you don't have GeForce, then GeForce NVIDIA, then um, you just have to figure it out on your own. I haven't had any of Thing other than GeForce, so I wouldn't really know. But as you can see, the game opened is fine. So, um, if that doesn't work for you, updating your driver doesn't work, compatibility mode doesn't work, then the last thing you can do is try your Steam API. Um, I'll have a link for this in the description where you can download the Steam API folder or DLL. And what you're going to do is you want to place this inside of your game folder. So, as you can see, I have Steam API.dll and Steam API 64. I only put in Steam API. Um, I'm not sure if it creates the 64 version after you've already started the game, but I have a 64-bit computer and I didn't put this in there, so I don't really know if it was already in there or if it created it, but either way, this is the one that ended up working for me. I put my Steam API DLL in this folder, I put it in the Steam folder in general, and then I also put it in my Windows System 32 folder, which is OSC Windows System 32. This is located in different spots for different people, but I found it here. You might just have to look around for a little bit, and you can notice it by, it has all of these different DLLs in it, so you want to add the Steam DLL to this folder. Um, so this is the one that ended up working out for me. Uh, so if this works, great. If it doesn't, I'm sorry. Um, I tried my hardest to include as many different solutions as possible. There's probably some other ones that I didn't cover. Um, I might try to leave an annotation or a comment telling you about those ones, but other than that, if this video did help you, please leave a like, subscribe, comment, anything like that, um, and see you guys in the next video.